This is our elevator servo. It is a Fataba S3004. We have the push rod installed. We have our fast link installed. We did power the servo up and center it before we installed our push rod into the servo arm. These two items here are your wheel collars. They're going to be used for the other elevator. The push rod from the other elevator is going to slide through these collars and you're going to use a fastener to secure them all together. This servo will power both elevators. This area here is where our rudder servo is going to be installed. On to the tail. You notice we have our control horn secured to our flight control. We have our clevis and clevis retainer. It's all installed. The servo that we're going to be using for the rudder is a Fataba S3004. These two push rods are for the other elevator and the rudder. We have our control horns, our fasteners for our servo, our fast links. These are the two fasteners that are going to be installed inside the wheel collars to help secure those two push rods. We have our clevis, clevis retainers, and we have a hardware that goes through our flight controls that's going to be used to secure our horns. So let's go ahead and get this installation done and we'll move on to the next step. We have the elevator and rudder servos installed. Just wanted to show you how that came out. On to the next section of the build, which is installing our fuel tank, engine mount, engine. This is where your fuel tank is going to be located, right here. You're going to install the fuel tank all the way forward, and then you're going to take a piece of balsa and glue it to your fuselage to help hold that fuel tank in place. This is your engine mount. As you can see, we've got it installed. You've got to properly space it for the engine that you've selected. We've done that. The fuel tank. Here is the fuel tank. This is the top of the fuel tank. We went with a two fuel line system. You can go with a three line system. It's up to you, your choice. Here is our engine we've selected, which is the OS Max 65AX muffler and engine. So on to the next section, which is install the engine and the fuel tank and run all the fuel lines. So let's go ahead and we're going to get that done. We have our engine installed and it's properly spaced from the firewall to the front of the engine at four and five eighths of an inch. Our fuel tank's installed inside our fuselage. We have our fuel lines hooked up and our mufflers installed on our engine. Let's go over some of the other items you're going to need to complete the build. We have our throttle servo here and we selected the Fataba S3004. We have all the hardware including the pushrod tubes and pushrod. On to the nose landing gear. This is our nose landing gear mechanical retract landing gear assembly. We have our servo to drive that assembly and it is a Hobbyco CS63 low profile servo. We have our actuator push rod. We have our nose landing gear steering push rod. All the hardware that you're going to need to install these items into the fuselage and our template for our nose landing gear push rod. The receiver that we've selected for our Dirty Birdie is the 8-channel Fataba R2008SB 2.4 GHz receiver. Our battery pack that's going to power our airplane is the Hydromax 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydrate battery. It is a 4.8 volt. We have our receiver switch. We have our nose spinner. The prop we selected is a APC 128 prop. We have our cowling here and the fasteners you're going to need to install that cowling onto the fuselage and you're going to have to um, cut out your cowling so that it can slide over your engine. So let's go ahead and get all these items installed on our airplane so that we can get the build completed. We have the final installations completed. Let's go ahead and go over them. We have our nose landing gear retract servo installed with the nose landing gear push rod, retract push rod installed. We have our throttle servo installed with our throttle push rod. We have our nose landing gear steering push rod installed and it hooks onto your rudder servo. This is where we've located our receiver. Our battery is down inside the fuselage. We have our receiver switch installed. Up forward in the nose landing gear area, wheel well, you'll notice the cutouts. We had to cut so that the push rods can pass through for your nose landing gear steering and your retract. We also have those hooked up as you can see. Uh, up forward on the cowling, 
We'll show you the area that we had to cut so that the cowling fits properly, as you can see. We've done that. We've also installed a T-fitting for our fuel line. Again, we went with the two fuel line system. This is where our fill port is located in our cowling to fill our airplane. We also have our spinner and prop installed. So now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and get the wing installed and show you how the airplane looks all together. Alright everyone, we have the Dirty Birdie powered up with our Futaba 8J transmitter, 2.4 gigahertz with the Futaba frequency hopping spread spectrum, backlit LCD, 20 model memory, and S-Bus compatible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and retract the landing gear and show you how it operates. So here we go. And as you can see it goes real nice up into the wheel wells. And the gear's down. Alright, that completes the build on the Dirty Birdie. We will see you out on the field.